What's going on everyone, Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. So today I'm going to be talking about animation presets inside of Adobe After Effects. I'm going to show you how you can apply animation presets, how you can customize them, and then how you can create your own. So let's get started. Now animation presets allow you to quickly and easily bring elements to life inside of Adobe After Effects. To see your animation presets, click on Window and go to Effects and Presets. Now in this panel you'll see a ton of different tools here and yours might look different from mine because I have a, a bunch of different third party products in here but at the top you'll see an animations preset section. Simply open that up and you're going to see a ton of different subfolders here. Now if you're new to After Effects you might be thinking that animation presets are just some simple transformation options but there's actually a ton of different things you can do with presets and a ton of really specific things. So let me just give you a quick example. Here I'm going to open up the backgrounds folder. Now with some of these presets, you need to simply click and drag and drop them over and apply them to a layer basically, whereas some you can just double click. So I'm going to go to backgrounds here and double click on creepy. And now you can see it automatically created a solid layer and applied a bunch of pre-configured effects to it. And if I play this back, you can see now it created this little animated background. And one other important thing to know about presets like this I'm going to press the U key so we can see our keyframes, is that wherever your playhead is at, when you apply that preset, those keyframes are going to start at that location. So if I had my playhead way over here, all of these keyframes would have started here. So it's very important to know, otherwise you can quickly get confused when using these presets. Okay, now as you can see, this can be pretty complex, the number of things you can do here. You can do transitions, transformation, different text elements, create sound effects, have some different special effects. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it simple and we're going to create some basic lower third elements. Okay, now if you look over here, I have these four different logos. I'm going to create some social media callout graphics here. So what I can do, I'm going to grab the text tool and I'm going to type in at premium beat. And I'm going to go change this font really quick. And I'll bring the size down. And I'll turn on the title action safe and we can kind of position this. I'm going to zoom in here. And now I'm going to bring in the Twitter logo. You can see it's a little bit bigger here, it's 500 by 500 pixels, roughly. I'm going to bring that over here into position, scale this down, and then I'm going to grab both of these, align them vertically, and that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to turn off the title action safe. Okay, so we have just these really, it's a really simple graphic, as I said, there's two simple elements. We have our logo graphic, we have our text graphic. So now I want to bring these to life and animation presets will allow me to quickly do that without hand keyframing everything from scratch. I'll still need to customize some things, but it'll be much easier. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Let's get right on top of this thing. Okay, first I'm gonna focus on the logo. I'm gonna select this layer. I'm gonna go back to the effects and presets panel, and let's add a transition to this. We wanna do a wipe. Now there's a ton of different options here. I'm gonna grab the linear wipe. And I can either double click or I can drag and drop. I can double click as long as I have my logo selected. So I'll just double click here. And you can see up here in the effect controls panel, we have a linear wipe effect. This added an effect. And if I grab the layer down here and press the shortcut key U, it's gonna show us the keyframes. And now let's just play this back. Okay, now for the text, I'm gonna select the text layer. Make sure my playhead's at the beginning because I want these animations to start the beginning of the of the timeline here and now we have a text folder I'm gonna open this up and we have a bunch of different options for text I'm gonna to go to animate in and I'm gonna choose fade up characters and I'm gonna double click there and now you can see there hasn't been an, an effect added so what's going on I'm gonna select the layer press the keyboard shortcut U, and that's gonna bring up these two keyframes here and you can see there's a range selector so actually if we just open up all the properties here and expand this you can see that it added an animator here and if we move here it's animating these on fade up by character now while these animations are in place they don't you know look very good so I need to retime them kind of make them a little bit nicer 
So we can do that pretty quickly and pretty easily here. I'm gonna press the U key again so we can just see our keyframes. Let's say I want this animation in to be roughly, you know, just around one second in length. So this part is good. Now I'm just gonna drag this animation to one second. Then I'm gonna select all the keyframes, press the F9 key. That's gonna easy ease all those. Then I'm gonna press this graph editor button and simply change, make sure my speed graph is set here, not value graph, yeah, it's speed graph. Then I'm gonna change the speed of these real quick just to make them a little more dynamic. And now let's take a look. So now we have that one second animation in. I still wanna make one other change and that will be for the logo. I'm gonna click on the logo. I wanna change the wipe angle. So we can, let's see what kind of angle. You can kind of wipe it in however you want. You know what, I'll just make it in the opposite direction. So now it'll look like that. And I'm happy with that. And I'll have the logo come in just a little bit before the text finishes. Okay, so let's take a look at that now. Okay, that's looking good. Now I have the animation in and I want to create an animation out. So I'm going to zoom out here. Okay, it's already zoomed out. This is about a three second comp here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab both keyframes from just one layer. So I'm going to grab the logo animation in. I'm going to Command C to copy this, and then I'm going to Command V to paste it. And what I want to do now with both of these final keyframes selected is right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, and select Time Reverse Keyframes. This is also available up here in Animation, Keyframe Assistant, Time Reverse. And now you're going to see that now it animates out. But I want to drag this kind of to the end here. And I'm going to do the same thing with these two. Command C, Command V, right click on one with them both selected, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes, and then voila. Now if I watch this, this should be a complete animation. Okay, let's zoom out and see what it looks like as an actual lower third. Okay, that's looking really good. I'm gonna zoom back in here. And now that everything's customized, I'm ready to create my own custom animation presets. So first I'm gonna go over here, close all this, grab the Twitter logo, and we wanna create our logo animation preset. So I'm gonna open this up here. And if we look at just of our base groups here of our attributes, we have effects and we have the transform properties. So I wanna select both of these because I've made changes to my transform properties because I've moved it, scaled it. So I wanna grab both of these, hold shift and select both. Then go over to animation and select save animation preset. And now I can go ahead, add a name, social media lower third, and we'll call this one logo. And now if I go up here to my animation presets, you're gonna see there's a new subfolder called user presets. And if I open this up, I can see my preset here. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for my text layer. I'm gonna open up the text and close until I can see all of the groups here. And I have text and transform. So I'm gonna select both once again because I have changes on both of these. I changed some of the transform attributes and I have the animators apply to the text. So with both of those attributes selected, I'm gonna to go to save animation preset and we'll call this uh, social media lower third text. Hit enter. And now you can see it's over here. Okay, and now I'm going to create a new comp really quick. This was a 4K. And I'll rename this one YouTube. Now let's grab that YouTube logo, bring it in here. And now watch how fast and simple this is. With this YouTube logo layer selected, I'm going to double click on our preset. And that's going to automatically place that. And now with the text preset, this one's as simple as just double clicking it and it'll automatically create that text element. You don't even have to create a text element and then drag and drop. It's as simple as just automatically creating its own text. All the font is gonna carry over, all the assets are gonna be sure to carry over. So now you can see that this lower third animation is identical to our Twitter animation. The only difference is this comp is a little bit longer. So you can see now that if I look at the keyframes, I'm gonna press the U, 
keyboard shortcut, which will show us all of our keyframes. The keyframes only go to the end of the three second mark here, because if you go back to our Twitter comp, this one ends, the keyframes end right at three seconds. So once again, these are identical to this Twitter. So one thing you want to be aware of is that if you're using these particular animation presets in a different size composition, it's going to act differently. These are both 4K compositions, that's why they're working identically. And also, these logos are all the same size. They're all 512 by 512, which makes it very, very easy when I apply the animation presets. All the transform attributes are going to apply in the exact same way to each logo. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.